Well, I'll tell you what I'm up to is uh, going to be testing out my camera here, which is a Sony ZV-1. It's designed for doing video and, of course, doing some still pictures. But I'm going to be checking it out today. I'm going to take part in the Kamloops Aboriginal Friendship Center 28-day challenge, which is an exercise item. And I'm going to do some walking and document what's going on here on the North Shore, and I'll be sharing it with you as we go along. So here we go. Now it's one degree out, clear. Quite a bit of snowfall last night, no wind, it's nice out. Should be a good Friday. Here on the corner, I'm gonna head my way down Tronquille, just by the bus ranch, over there by Sea Lovers. Nice little place to walk. break here, take a walk, have a look around, check it out there. Across the street there is the Kamloops Elk Watch. Huh. Wonder what they do over there. The Parish Center. Wow. Okay. 177,000 in prizes. Well, what kind of prizes are they talking about? I'm out front of Peter Millibar's office. He is our member of the Legislative Assembly in British Columbia. Uh, he was elected in the 2020 election, and Peter won by a landslide. I think it was about 180 votes, so it was actually a pretty tight race for the guy. Start of the Scarlet Apple. Wow. Look at that. Man, the Scarlet Apple's been here for a while. They're running a good little business. Looks like they're getting ready for Valentine's Day. They're going to have love, flirt, and beauty. They got a wink, kiss, touch, and kink. Great little star, get all your... Well, unfortunately, when you hear the sirens, chances are it has something to do with the opioid crisis that we have going on here in Kamloops. Fentanyl has been killing people off more than the pandemic. And even though our pandemic has been on the rise in Kamloops and in Terrier of late, the fentanyl epidemic that fentanyl crisis is considerably worse and affects everybody in Kamloops. Sad. Bright Eye Brewing, a relatively new business on the North Shore, have a very eclectic menu with excellent taste, good food, and they brew their own beer here. And being a, be a beer aficionado, I really enjoy their IPA here. They make a marvelous brew. So far the walk's been going pretty good. I'm three quarters of the way done. And as you can see, I'm still on the North Shore. And you, know, you look behind me here, you can see that this is all part of interior community services. been a pretty good walk you know I think it's starting to get a little warmer There's still no wind it's probably about two degrees it's sunny uh, expected to stay like this for most of the day so hopefully I'll be able to get out and do some more walking maybe I'll be able to document more stuff on what's happening where I'm going what you know so it's Bob McQuaig and I'm participating in the Kamloops Aboriginal Friendship Center 28 day challenge for exercise once you get out and document what you're doing, sign up, maybe win some wonderful prizes. But overall, it's for your health, it's for your own good. Believe me, it's well worth it. You'll lose a couple pounds, you'll sleep better, rest better. Overall, the walking helps. Take care, best wishes. Have a good weekend. Take care, bye.